smell of the camera up there. Good afternoon. Here you go. You have Zoe and Nana here live in San Antonio, Texas. So we are in Nana's studio today. So with that, we're going to be creating three cards from all the little things, paper, pumpkin kit, and I think you've already picked out which one you're going to do. Is that right? All right. So with that, if you're going to create along with us, we always suggest you to go ahead and prep and have your stuff ready because that's what we've sort of done today and we're going to show you what we've got going. All right? Yep. So with that, let's go down the hands and afterwards we do the door prize drawings, right? So it's all about giving those emojis and everything else. So let me see if I can get us down to the hands from where we're at right now. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to reach over. You can lift your head back up. It's not that. We've got two screens going on here. And I'm doing it left-handed. There you go. <laughs> I am not left-handed. All right. So this is a beautiful foil kit. Did you see that? Okay. So this is what we're making. We're making these three cards today. Isn't that pretty? All right. And then this is the kit. If you are interested in getting it by May 10th. Is that right? Is it May 10th? Yes, May 10th. And actually, you'll get to see some of this, some color, starting on Tuesday to see what's all exciting in this kit and everything and all. So if you didn't, here this month's kit came with free organizer. Did you get yours yet? Open it? No? No? What's an organizer? So see, it's got, the, it's got the, this right here. So it's got an organizer that you can put in the box if you got the kit. It came with it. So I don't know if the refills are going to have it or not, but you just need to subscribe, right? So this is our layout right here. I'm going to turn off one of the lights here on us. I hope that's going to be getting a lot of shadow. All right, so I am doing the first one here, and we got them all laid out so you can see how beautiful it is. So you get to open up the instructions. Zoe gets to open the instructions and keep me on my A game, and then I get to keep her on her A game. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to move these out of the way for the moment because we aren't doing these yet. And this is the first one we're going to be doing. So you're going to have to tell me how much ribbon I'm going to need, because I know I'm going to have to have ribbon. 22 but, inches. 22 inches. So I just want to show you how beautifully foiled the paper is. This is just the first one. So the one you do next has got a lot of foil, too. Now, this is actually die cut. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Is this die cut? I'm the third one. No, you said the second one. You've changed your mind this already? This is the rose. I did the rose one. You're doing the, that one instead of the second one? That's not fair. See? It's the rose one, and the rose one's the third one. Oh, we'll do it second then. Just so we can rotate. No, you can't just have me doing it all. I mean, I'm, what? Doing, I'm doing one of them. Well, you're doing one of them. Okay, that one's die cut a little bit there. So we're just pushing all this out. Because this is what's going to give it all the look. So you just sort of need to pinch all these little out. So yes, you're out there. Be sure to say hello and comment. And Zoe's got her fingernail polish today because we went and got manicures. Wait, wait, I didn't see that. Oh, that's that color. Okay, got it. So she's the only one got color. I just had mine buffed so they make them look shiny. So how many more days you get left of school, do you know? 20-something, I think? I don't know. Really? I guess so. Because you get out on what day? I don't know. I want to say it's like the 25th, 24th, I don't know, somewhere there. Because you and Gabe get out. You guys get out the same time this year, which is always sort of nice for Nana. All right, so this is what's going to look like when you get through. I think I've got one little more. And you could have already done this all punched out for me. <sighs> no yawning, man. There is not time for yawning. No yawning. Okay, I think I got them all out now. Yeah. Okay, I don't see anything else. Did I miss one? Oh, right there. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, you need them punched out, right? Because we're putting it on. So this is one of the card bases here. So, yes. Yeah, so you want to be able to put it on here and be able to see the colors, right? Yeah. So the way this is, it's going to put on here. And I'm going to put this on here with what? Glue dots or dimensionals? Dimensionals. Dimensionals? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me get the dimensionals here. And then I can pass them over to you. Ooh, your card's sucking. So how many dimensionals do they have us doing? You have a Oh, I still have one little piece there? Mm-hmm. Well, that is nice that it's tight. Well, good grief. Well, just help me out, why don't you? 
You could just pull that out for me. How many dimensions do they have us on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six. So do we? So let's see here. I see. So the pictures on here. You're showing the picture where it shows you, so they see what it looks like. But somebody asked me the other day, how mm. do you know? And oh. we know because we've done it quite a bit, right? Crap. Chicken neck. Yeah, I was gonna say. I know you just didn't say that. So it's got like a little rectangle square thing there. So it looks like the back of it there. Yeah. All right, and then I still have to stamp the cinnamon, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Terry, you want to ink it up for me? <laughs> yeah, she can do that. That's all those sounds. <coughs> Listen to you. Hi. I'm glad you don't sound like that in the morning when you get up. Well, not, I'm not on my watch anyway. Maybe you do it on your mother's or somebody else's watch. <coughs> all right, so this that's all you have to do. This is already like, I didn't have to do anything. This is really sweet. All I have to do is just open the kit and put this on here, right? All right, let's see here. I am going to need, it tells me, 22 inches of ribbon. So this is really nice. So there's actually, see if I can get this on the camera for you. So actually, uh, she's got the instructions here. It's got a ruler right here on the side that you can measure things off with. And I am going to actually measure off 22 inches on my grid paper here. Here, I'll let you see that. Do you need that? I'm just gonna measure 22 inches off. This is 16 and I need six more. I don't know why I need so much string. Guess you're gonna show me why I need so much string. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're, they're curling it or rolling it. Let's see how we're going to do this. So you have me doing this and not you. So my hands are gonna be bigger than your hands. I'm just gonna take three fingers maybe. Mm-hmm. There you go, you got it stamped. Okay, so we've already got, they have me putting the string down with what? With blue dots? See if I can do much. Well, gosh, I'll do four fingers there. So they just have you basically putting this like a circle, like this. And we're gonna put it down, I guess with some glue dots. Is that with glue dots, Zoe? Can you tell? So we're gonna put the string down here. Is that with glue dots we're putting the string down with or does it show you? You can't tell? Mm -mm. Well, we'll have to have something. I'm just gonna put something down at the moment. If they don't show me one way or the other, what about, do we have glue dots or dimensionals on that little orange thing? Glue dots. Glue dots, okay. I'm you just probably put this and then you put this a little and then you just hold down that. Yeah, you know what though? Things have a tendency to wiggle on me. You don't get to watch me when I do my lives during the week. You can always watch them later, but on YouTube. But the thing is, when I do my lives, I always have a tendency where everything wants to wiggle around on me. Wiggle, wiggle. Right? Exactly, exactly how I feel. And I, I think it's nice that the um, this is going to here hold it down. How many of these do I have to have? Three? Mm -hmm. How many glue dots do I have here? Mm -hmm. Three. Three? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll get three on here. Mm-hmm. Wee. And then we'll put it right across. And what else I have? The, the one above it, the actual tag itself, has this on with dimensionals? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll get some dimensionals on here, too. This is really pretty. So, yep, we're going to stick it just like that. Something stuck to me. All right, and then we got our. Mm. All right, so we're gonna do this here. All right, so you're gonna have to get ready to get do yours because I am almost done with mine, except for bling. So how many bling am I putting on here? Wow, it's pretty already, and I still put bling. What are you, what are you telling me? Five. Okay, five. Okay, five. It is. Oh, you know what, though? Let's see. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, there we go. Maybe like you said, I'll hold it right there. Okay. All right, so five it is. They got us having, what, two big ones? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. and where do we put them at? I don't see them. One big one down there. One big 
Where's where's one big one at? Where's it at? Down there. And okay. Up there. So I can get this here. And then the ones above the one little ones above the a big one, and then there's one right there on the other leaf, and then there's one on the very bottom. Okay, so I got some small ones. Where'd you say it had a small? Oh, right, right here on this leaf, right here above it. Okay, mm -hmm. and where's the next one at? On the other leaf, right next to that. This one here. Uh -huh. All right. And then there's one on the very bottom here. Down here with the other leaf. No, the other oh, this one. That one. This one here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then that gets card number one done. So everybody had to be sure to tell us what they think, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you get to do card number two. All right. So let me give you the stuff for card number two. That's not good. Oh, you didn't want to do this one. You want to do the other one. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I would give you this one here. All right, so we're going to be doing this one here. She wants to do the one with the roses on it. Which, oh, I just kind of knocked that off. Put that right back here where it was at. Okay. All right, so she wants to do this one here. So we're going to go ahead with this. And so you are going to need. So you're just going to actually stamp. You're going to stamp first. So let me get you. I have you one stamp set up for you, I think. Yes. So they actually have you stamping on your card base with this. And then. We're gonna stamp a sentiment on your on your deal as well too. So this is what we're making right now. So we're actually jumping to number three first because this is the one she wants to make. And I'm gonna get her set up with what she needs after I just get her the other round. There you go. And you're gonna need some sh a string too. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to do some stamp, it says enjoy your day. Do you want to stamp at this one or you stamp? Oh, the other one I was going to do, pull for you, was celebrate today. You're going to do celebrate today or enjoy. Or, or enjoy your day. Enjoy. Okay, so we'll let you stamp this on the tag then. Okay. There you go. So are you anxious about school getting ready to be out? No? So what are you going to miss, miss the most about school? Nothing. Oh, I know you like dance. Mm. You like track. Mm. You like uh, volleyball. Mm. And you like, uh, what's the other thing I know you like? You like, um, you like your dance. Oh, you like your art class. I know that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get your other stamp set up for you. Oh, it's already got it set up for you. So there. Yep. You want some blue dots? Oh, yeah, there you go. Get you some blue dots. So yes. I was trying to think what else. Uh, well, I know you like art. I know you like dance. I know I enjoy, you when I saw you playing volleyball. You looked like you enjoyed volleyball. Mm -hmm. And I know you enjoy track. I didn't think you to come over and see you do track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, and in fact, how'd y'all end up finishing for the whole thing? Um. My, the rest of my team went to finals. I didn't go to finals. You didn't get to go to finals? No. Now you want to come up here most probably so yeah, everybody see you. Okay. It's real pretty though. I like how that's nice and... Look at that, how shiny that is. Oh yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so they have you putting the flowers on. Uh, they have you the large flowers being put on with glue dots. And then you're putting the smaller flowers on with dimensionals. 
So how hard was it to create your, I shared with everybody your project you created at school that was a di your digital artwork. So how hard was it and how long did it take you to do your digital artwork? It didn't take very long. Mm -hmm. But um, if you like use templates and like, um, and like have like use someone else's idea and then you do art, uh -huh. it might take longer because you're not used to like just doing it yourself. Right. Because you borrowed something. Yeah. But um, since I did that by myself and I didn't like have any um, like templates or anything, right? Um, it was just really easy. It was kind of just mix colors and mm -hmm. figure things out. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So well, I was going to ask you about that. So what programs do you guys use when you create your artwork at school? Here, uh, you're using dimensionals. You need, here's the dimensionals. So what programs are you guys using at school when you sit there and create your digital? Um. You use the program and you don't know what it is? No, because normally it's just there at the bottom. It's one of those kind of tablets, but you don't really oh, it's a see the name you, of it. Oh, it's a tablet you guys work with? Oh, I figured... Yeah. Oh. Tablets have more of the better kind of art um, apps. Hmm, okay. They're what, really good ones. Is that because your art teacher, is? she has tablets designed just for her class? No, it's their school tablets. Oh, okay. Hmm. So yeah, so the artwork you created, like with your digital, you didn't have instruction sheets like we have right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello Jennifer, hello Nancy. Yep. All right, so we're gonna stamp your cinnamon. Um, here's the ink and here's your cinnamon. Let's see what we did our little piece right here that we had. There you go. I'll help you because I usually misplace all this stuff myself. So. All right, so we're just stamping the sentiment there. Oh, and you got this here. You've got 12 inches of string that you're supposed to be making a bow. I wouldn't want you to miss out making that bow live. <laughs> Nana does not care to make bows. I, I do make bows live, but I'm really pretty bad about it. You know that? And I try to do it live for whatever reason. Okay, so yes, you're gonna make a bow. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, yes. So, you'll make your bow. Yeah, let me see you make the bow right up here. Yeah. I want to watch you make the bow because you always make yours pretty easy. So, there you go. Hmm. Okay. So, you're just going to make it a little bit smaller or you're going to leave it right like that at the moment? There you go. I'm just curious, I'm just asking. Have you ever made a double bow without doing it that way? No, you looking? <laughs> you can't see it, but she just rolled her eyes at me. <laughs> oh, I was just curious. I see people with these double bows looking things and uh, I just, I don't know, you're so artsy, so. Yeah, so you're gonna use a glue dot to put that down. It's too funny. Here's your glue dot. Yeah, there you go. You got it? You ready? Put it down. Just You can just put it on. Yeah. <laughs> you don't make many bows at school, do you? No, absolutely none at all. What? Hey, do you, so do you do any sewing at school? They were going to think about it. Oh, okay. Like my teacher was. Uh -huh. And she was like, eh. And that part falls into the art program? Okay. But, yeah, it does. And well, she, was, yeah. she was thinking about it. I'm like, <gasps> Oh my gosh. Right. Totally. Right, yeah. Totally go for it. Go for it. Right. I'm not holding you back. Right. I'm not holding you back. Right. I'm very excited. Yeah. So I know I know when you're um <laughs> when Jennifer took for her. Here, you want me to help you out? Gosh. Let's twist it. Oh, you did twist it. All right, well, go ahead. We're just you know what I would do? It's gonna be covered. It's gonna be covered with a tag. If you don't like it, we can make another one. You wanna make Ooh. another one? Ooh. We're gonna put it over idea. here so people can see. There you go. Yeah, I'm undo this. You're gonna undo it, okay? Right here. Mm. Well, you're the you're the master person here of undoing things, cause you undid that uh, twine thread we had, and uh, you sat there and unraveled that in a heartbeat. Okay, you can put it down with the glue dot. Yeah. Need one. Yeah, we need at least For one. Here. Yeah, you need it so people can see. That's right. And then we're gonna grab one, and we're gonna put. Okay, so it's this one. It's 
this one here. Right. Be a nasty child. Huh? <laughs> Beast. <laughs> okay, we're going to grab two of them. All right. On each All right. side so we can okay. tangle and stuff in there. There you go. Okay, it's going to be the boss. All right. I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, so you didn't come off. Do you need here? You need this here? Okay. Are you there? I can use the other end. Need you. Beast. <clears throat> Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Did the glue dot come off for you? If not, I got this here. I was going to get it off for you. There you go. Either or, which is ever easy, because that's when our fingernails are so short, I can't get some of it. I never had fingernails. I know you never have had fingernails because you bite on your fingernails. What a there you go. So, I tell you, stop that. Don't be doing that. So, yes, so we are giving away door prizes today once we finish. We do that the last Sunday of every month. You know that? We give away door prizes when we do our live. And then uh, we do it the second Friday after our live. So, what you're going to do is just make comments, share. And if you share it, just put in the comments that you shared it. And you can do it here or on YouTube. And we sit there and put your name and the drawing for the door prizes. So, we usually get some paper pumpkin. Uh, this month, we're also going to get some bling. Because I like bling. Do you like bling? Which is your favorite color of bling? Do you have a favorite? The sunflower. The sun, little sun, da oh, they're daisies, the little oh, daisies. Daisy. Yeah, they look like sort of sunflowers, don't they? But they're really daisies. Or not daisies. Um, I guess that's yeah, what no. they are. They just call them loose flowers. They don't even really tell you what kind of flowers they yeah, are. But those are the ones you're talking about, right? The okay. I know which ones you're talking about. Those dandelion looking. Yeah, things. yeah. They don't really, don't they didn't know. give them a name. They're they just called them. And they're yeah. They are yellow. And they have some white ones too, right? Yeah, so they could like be daisies. daisies. It could be really anything, really. Yeah. Daisies, daisy, um, yellow daisies. Yep, yeah, they could be. Yellow All right, so you daisies. have three of these to put on here. And let's see. So it looks like they have one up here. And if they're like the other ones, can you, can you tell? It looks like there might be one there. Got a big one right there. And let's see where the other one is. See, it's right there on the, between the gold one, yeah. But you can do them however you want, right? There you go. And there we go. So you just have one more. So like, I spy with my beady eyes. You can, you can just say, okay, there you go. All right, so there is actually card number three, but we went ahead and did it now so we could rotate people. All right, so now we're going to be down to the last card. All right, so you're going to guide me through this one. Oh, yeah. So this is the card we're going to be making now. And again, we got beautifully, beautifully foiled paper. See how pretty that is? Reminds me of some of the Asian flower type stuff I've seen you guys do stuff with and all. So the, the, have you stamped in this first? Huh? The blossoms? Yeah, the blossoms. Those sakura trees is that what it is what kind of tree a sakura tree mm. a sakura i just know between tree. you and jennifer so this one is pretty cool because all i'm going to do is just stamp across this but oh this is where the green thread is going to come in i'll what? let you cut the green thread for me what 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 yes this one i was wondering what we were using the green thread for and where? i didn't pay attention See it right here on the instructions, how they've got it crossing over like that? Yep, there you go. I'll get you the scissors. That's not green. And what color is it? It looks it's green. Black. It's, it's black. It might be black. Green. I know, but I'm going to put these spots yeah, everywhere. It's black. it's black. No, wait, okay. I can see it. It can be 18 inches or 10 Yeah, 18 inches. inches. So the grid here on the paper on top of is 18 inches. 18? Yep, 16. I'm sorry, 16. And they just got to stamp. You know what? I like to sort of just sort of stamp it different so it doesn't look so... Eat. Yep. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. You know, Nancy's the one that taught me how to make cake pops. Oh, yeah. Thank y'all. Oh, sorry. You just need your two more? Okay, there you go. Right there. How about that? So, yes, yeah, so t Nancy is the one that taught me to make cake pops. Yeah, so I would just stamp this off just like to the side here somewhere. It's going to be okay. All right, I'll put that in there, clean that in a little bit. I'm supposed to stamp these little flower things too. I thought one of us was supposed to. Okay. Who missed flower it? Flower things? Yeah. Flower things. Um, I'm looking. Those no, flowers? not those. Yes. It says number three, but I'm not sure. That's me. That was you, but I don't see where we were supposed to stamp that at. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And I don't see it here for me to stamp either. Okay. All right, so I'm not, but you're going to put instructions back so I can see. So, all right, we're going to have to wrap the string around this. And they actually looks like they used a glue dot here because you're crisscrossing it over, right? So I'm going to put this down here. <sighs> so you, do you guys ever do any string art at school? No? No. No, but we did wire. You did wire? Skinny. So did you actually, so what did you do with the wire? Um, I made art. I made like a sculpture. A sculpture? Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess I'll cross it like that. Well, that is cool, you know, because you think of the years we used to go to the ceramic shop and you used to do artwork there was with the clay. You know what, though? When I put the flowers over here, oh, there you go. I was going to say, it was corrective. All right, so we're just going to take this and we're going to put it on here with three glue dots. It's got us doing. So what did you do with the wire then? I bent it to make a piece of artwork. Because, you know, I have some different artists I've gotten jewelry from that they, you know, they use the wire and everything to do jewelry. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's actually stuck to me. Okay. So, hmm. I'm just trying to think what else. So, you guys don't do clay then, do you? Mm-hmm. You do? Oh, what'd you make with clay? I made... A sun, moon, stars, and clouds. Okay. So you made it, and then what'd you do with it? We have we haven't got back to it yet. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all just started it? No. We, it... This is interesting. Yeah, this goes. So what is he going to do with it? Mm, I don't know. You don't know what y'all going to do with it? We didn't do anything yet. Not yet? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what am I doing with this here? I know I have this. This is going to have some dimensionals yes. on it. Dim yeah, okay. dimensionals. And there's my other flower. So these are all reflective. And then the little bubble worm looking thing gets the glue dot. And the rest are just dimensions. Oh, the little, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, it's just little circles. It looks like, like you're right. It looks like little bubbles. Just little bubbles. So yeah, you can look and see. So we got somebody else out there viewing too. You'd have to scroll down to see who it is. Yeah. They didn't make a comment, so they don't realize they got to make a comment and all. So, yep. Yeah. I always enjoyed art. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm putting this on, you said, with glue dots, right? Yes. One in the very middle. Okay. So, what we used to do that I thought was always pretty cool, we used to, um, they would take paint. And I'm not sure what kind of paint it is, but you you might know. And we would actually put it down on heavy on paper, and you take a straw and blow it. I guess oh, you would call it that. straw art, I guess. And I just remember, because it's pretty cool, because when you blew through the straw to create the artwork, I mean, you didn't control it really, right? Mm -hmm. You can blow on the straw, but you can't really control everything that happens. Mm -hmm. So it, that was really, um, I always enjoyed that. We usually did stuff like that on a rainy day and we couldn't go outside mm -hmm. at school. So that's what they'd have us do is just have us do some artwork like that. Because it didn't really, it was temporal paint, I think it was. Okay, so this one's on dimensionals, right? Mm -hmm. And then I had the little flower's foot somewhere. I missed my, oh, I see the little flowers there. 
They only had one blue dot on there. But that was pretty cool. I don't see that done too much today, using the tempera paint like that and using a, just a regular straw, right? To blow on it and create the artwork. I was always fascinated with that. All right, so how many I'm doing on this? They, oh, they just have us doing one on here at the top, it looks like. Let's see where that needs to be. I'm actually going to put it at the bottom. Because it's so when we lay this down. So when you sit there and do like we're doing right now, and you're doing your layers, because I'm doing it on top of other stuff, I want to make sure my dimensionals below it so you'll be able to see it. So actually, actually, it looks like I got this a little low, Zoe. <laughs> Let's see if we can make this up. Oh, there you go. Pat Hoover is out there. Woo -hoo. Pat Hoover was our, some of our winning stuff, one of our winning people last night. Oh, yeah. We'll just put it right there. So there you go. So Pat gets, Pat gets paper pumpkin too. This is a beautiful kit. Pat, let us, I don't know if you made yours yet or not, but they are sure pretty. They are very pretty. So let's see what I was going to ask you. Um, so what other kind of start, what other kind of medium do you have you guys used at school for art? Mm. Can you tell what the flowers at here on dimensionals? Where they put them? Okay. Okay, so it's going to Sucker off. flowers. Yeah. You said, where's the other one you said? Right there. there. Okay. Yep. And what's the other one? Right there. Right oh, there. right there. Okay, gotcha. So, what other do you guys you, you use? Any other mediums then? Mm -hmm. So all I got left is my bling. Put some bling on here. Well, we did pencil. Oh, then is that charcoal pencils? Uh, we did do charcoal, but not charcoal pencils. Okay. We what would you use in charcoal then? Uh, we use like little charcoal, like like you know chalk. How they get oh. shaped like that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. I've never actually drawn with a charcoal. Uh, Jennifer has and John has, but I have not. Let's do two more of these. All right. I got two more of these to put on here. Well, I don't know where to put them. I don't see. So I'm going to put one here because I can. I'm going to put one right over here as well, too. All right, so there we go. We have our three designs. They actually went in this order. We just sort of went in a different order. And there you go. Woo. There's our three that we've created today. And you can see from the, the reflectiveness there that we've got some very beautiful paper. Right? So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see here. Let me get us back on the cam here for you with our faces. I'm doing this left-handed. Yep, yep. Wrong one. There we go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that because those were easy to make, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So there you go. So even though she just made one card today, we do know you make more things because you did your digital stuff at school. And you know that you've done some other things as you told us about that. So we hope you enjoyed it today. It's all about creating and sharing and giving. And today we made the three cards. They're very easy to make and they're very beautiful, right? Yeah. So it's a matter we have to decide who we're going to give them to, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So with that, be blessed. Be sure to share, comment, and we hope that you follow us because today we're giving away the door prizes after here, but two weeks from now, on fr two Fridays from now. We'll sit there and give away some more door, pri door prizes, but you will be in school because Nana does it at noon on Teach Me Nana. Yep. And we'll be giving away some door prizes there as well, too. And it's just based on the fact if you share, be sure to comment, share, and it, make any give us some comments or emojis, right? We can, try, we can get your name from an emoji, too, to put you in the drawing. So have a blessed day. Have a great week. And look forward to seeing you on Friday with Teach Me Nana. Bye. Bye. I get to do the technology, yeah.